You know what they say about pineapple juice. She knows. I know. Drinking it straight that you're going to prefer this. Cheers. Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Whiskey Rebellion. Today we are discussing the difference between a whiskey and a vodka. As a bartender through the years, I've heard so many people say, oh, I don't drink dark liquor or I don't drink dark products. And I always tell them that they're basically the same thing and they just stare at me and they're like, that's not true. And I'm like, no, they really are. So why don't you guys tell me about yourself? I'm Jeannie Pecan. Mm -hmm. Yes, like the nut. Uh -oh. Very fitting. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like a... Sometimes oh, you don't. Oh, yes. I've not done that one. That's nice. I like it. But he will later. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm bum. But I'm bum. You're on stage, Cynthia. It's Cindy. <laughs> Cindy King. Um, and I'm interested to try these. Uh, I have not tried any of these. Smelled that one because my husband likes that one, but I have not tried it. Do you have any preconceived notions about vodka and bourbon? Which one do you think you're going to prefer? Vodka. Oh, <laughs> see, I like vodka with a drink, you know, mixed. Right. But whiskey straight. So the base of any spirit uh, in the in this particular category is usually grain. And so the way that it's distilled actually creates which product it's going to be. When you distill something two or three times with some whiskey, if you distill it more than that, uh, it usually becomes a vodka or a gin. That is literally the only difference. Wow. The point of no. a vodka is it's a neutral grain spirit. So they've distilled it and distilled it and distilled it to strip out, they call it impurities. It's just the flavor of the grain. And I, lo I always love when I'm like, oh, the impurities. I'm like, oh, that's the good part of the whiskey. The way you make a vodka is you distill it up to about 190 proof. And then you, that pulls out all the flavors of the grain. And then you add water to bring it back down to whatever proof you're gonna sell it at. In the case of a whiskey, they usually distill it up to 110, 120, 130 proof somewhere in there and then they uh, proof it down to at least 125 for a bourbon but it's sometimes lower and then put it in the barrel. That is literally the difference between the two products. I argue all the time to people who say that they don't like dark liquor that if they tried them side by side they would actually probably prefer the whiskey when you're not mixing with something because you can make anything taste delicious with pineapple juice. And yeah. Yes. And you know what they say about pineapple juice? No. Mm -hmm. She knows. I know. I'm not going to talk about You're it because naughty. we're on camera. She is naughty. <laughs> Why we brought her that's, in here. That's off the camera. Yes. We <laughs> needed that comedic relief with just a touch of sexiness. But I, I, I always tell people you should just try it. And, and it, it is something that I find People don't believe me until they actually do it. So literally the whole point of this show is for you to tr try two products made from the same parent company, Sazerac or Buffalo Trace makes both of these. The Wheatley Vodka not only is indicative of the fact that it's a weeded mash bill that they use to produce the vodka, but Harlan Wheatley is the master distiller for Buffalo Trace, so they named it after him. When you taste these two products, I have this feeling, drinking it straight, that you're gonna prefer this, even though neither of you are actually whiskey drinkers. Or straight vodka drinkers. So this is the, well. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> With pineapple juice. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Although I don't know what that means yet. <laughs> but, but that just tells me that when you're drinking, you like pineapple juice. It's not that you like vodka. True. So. Very good point. Yeah, I, and, mm -hmm. and as we get older, I know you both are 22. 23. 23. 25. Yes, yeah, 25. Okay. Uh, I'm a little but older than close. you. I'm turning 55 in a couple of weeks. <laughs> I try to avoid mixers and sugar because they affect me more. I get hung over when I drink too much juice with alcohol. It just yeah. has always done that to me. And so that's when I started delving into straight whiskey. It was mostly me just realizing that it was the sugar of whatever mixer I was drinking that was impacting me true. the yeah. next day. So we're just gonna pour you each a little bit of okay. each of these and I want you to just taste them, tell me what you think, and then tell me which one you prefer straight. Because I, I, I feel like I already know. Uh, it's just very interesting. I've always had the perception of the dark versus, you know what I mean, of dark liquors, no, yeah. ever. But so they, that's interesting that you said that. In their base level, they're almost the same thing. Yeah. The color is only coming from the barrel. So it's, it's, and the barrel imparts a lot of good things. It imparts sweetness and it imparts uh, vanillin from the wood and things that 
are yeah. natural flavors that we really like. Can you just, this is a wheat vodka. It is a wheat vodka. People promote potato. Uh, so potato vodkas aren't as pop, like commonly made as they used to be. It's much cheaper to produce vodka from a grain. And uh, most distilleries are already producing grain products to begin with. So it's just easier for them to make a grain vodka versus a potato vodka. When I try a potato vodka against a grain vodka, I really don't notice much of a difference. I actually don't know that most people could because the whole point of a vodka is to distill it so many times that you're stripping out whatever base layer flavors of what you're producing it from. So the whole point of a neutral grain spirit is to not have any kind of substantive flavor. flavor. But I, I, I just want you to try these two and then I'm, first? it doesn't matter. I, but I want you to tell me just straight which you prefer. Oh, vodka, so. That's a good vodka. This is actually about the only one we carry because it's such a good product. Thai? <laughs> so, Thai? Thai? Equal? Same? Uh, so, I know you thought I'd probably like this one better. I mm -hmm. still feel like I'm more of the vodka. Yeah. But I'm also just starting to taste these. Sure. So, I feel like that's fair. Mm -hmm. Um, but, but, you know, like I said, when I got here, I'm like, I, I was scared I would just kind of go. And I'm not doing that in right. any of these, which surprised me today, me honestly. Too, with you. Yeah, it's, yeah. She was scared. I was sure. scared. <laughs> um, but they're both very good. They are good products. Yeah. But I just can't do vodka straight. And this I could. Right. I, I agree with that. I agree with that too. I mean, that's a good vodka. Yeah. I'd love to mm -hmm. mix it with pineapple. But... I'm not mixing this with pineapple. This is good straight. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, it's good. So the thing about this whiskey after you swallow it, the experience of whiskey when you drink it. You do. Is that part. But mm. what's in your mouth oh, now? This is kind of good now. It stays. Yeah, it's, it's caramel and it's that vanilla. Yeah. It stays. So right. this, this, this stays definitely more than this because right. it's got yeah. so, much, so much more in it, I guess. Yeah. Whatever. So I think yeah. if you spend a little more time, I would probably here. woo you over to the dark side. To the dark side. To the dark side. Oh, here we go. Um, because there. there are qualities <laughs> in whiskey that can't exist in a vodka. And, and those qualities are a natural sweetness that comes from the grains. Yes. That gets stripped out. And then the natural sweetness that comes from the caramelized wood sugars from the barrel. And all of those things are very subtle, but they're there. And you might want to ask me again, because now I'm, I'm leaning toward this one. No, I know you so, would. So that's like, interesting. Yeah. I, I just my second sip, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, can, I, can I change my answer? So here, here's the, <laughs> what I would say. I would like both of you to take another small sip of the whiskey. Hold it in your mouth for like a second so that you really kind of envelope the flavors on your palate. And then swallow that. And then tell me what's your taste. And it's not about the heat, because the heat will be there on that too. Yeah. Do you see the sweetness I'm talking I told about? You, I do. I sweetness. That's what I was gonna say. I'm yeah. like, it's hard. So I can't describe it. Right. I'm, but I'm like, I'm like, I don't know how you describe it, but it's 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 very good. It's, this mm -hmm. is a bad after taste. This is not. This is. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I'm choosing A. Yes. Now. On their base level, they are both alcohol. That's like the ethanol good. note is present in both of them, but if you taste this now after doing that, and you have this rich, sweet, nice caramel quality vanilla flavor in your mouth, if you try that, you're gonna see that it just clears all out of it Erases from it. your palate. But that's the good part about the alcohol in the case of whiskey to me. Yeah. It totally took it away. Mm -hmm. That's so weird. The point of a neutral grain spirit is to not have any flavor. So that yeah. you are enjoying the flavor of whatever you're mixing it with. But to me, sitting outside on a cold winter day, I don't want to sip vodka. You want some of the... Yeah. yeah. And, and there's nothing and there's wrong with vodka. Don't get me wrong. Like right, I, right. I, I, yeah. I have a, I've definitely experienced okay. some yeah. some great time with some vodka in the past. A friend of mine is Russian and oh, of course their family, like they, on a snowy day, they like to put the bottle out in the snow and then they just serve it ice cold in shots. But right. they don't sip it. and. The point to me of whiskey is you're supposed to sip it and enjoy the flavor of it. I've never once been like, hey, you should sip this vodka. Right. Like, it's just not, to yeah. me, that's not the way I was taught to drink it, unless it's in a cocktail or something like that. Now, cool. this is better, but I would, there's plenty of vodka that I would never drink straight. And this yeah. was a good vodka. That's why we um, use this as our house product here. I oh, just, is it? Yeah, I think it's a really, I believe it's distilled seven times, but I don't, I'm not quite sure. Okay. It's but been it, a little eye-opening for me, honestly. Because, totally. Yeah. 
I mean, she really, was like, no whiskey. Really, it really has been. I, I noticed that you finished. I been, <laughs> it's gone. You have not finished your vodka. Right. So, so I know. So I, I pick vodka first, and then I'm like, wait a minute. And and that's or actually I what I thought answer. would happen. Yeah. Like, because I knew that you were going to be tell me that you prefer vodka. Yeah. But well, I think it's a perception of the dark versus. I in my head, I'm like, no, I don't like any dark liquors. I don't know why. I'm just I don't do any dark liquors. So and I think a lot of that goes back to when we're like just learning how to drink. Yeah. And still working on that. We are told learning how to drink. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. We are told, you know. <laughs> I th there is some kind of misogyny in the alcohol world and like people when they're young are told that this is for guys and this is for women yeah and that's a problem we're trying to break that here at the restaurant mm -hmm. I, don't, I think that's wrong yeah and and I think it's important that me as a bartender teaches you as a woman no, that whiskey good. actually is for you and so that is kind of why I wanted just to have the two of you here because it nice so when we come back we'll be like give me some bubble of trace and yeah. a cigar. <laughs> Well, we're not going to let you. Maybe a cigar yeah. for me. <laughs> not going that far, but. Well, I appreciate you coming out. Thank um, you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Yeah.